So it seems that Microsoft has released another new Xbox One controller. It looks kind of the same as the last one, but it has a lot of differences in it as well. And I just went out and bought it today because I had to replace this controller, which was last time I checked the newest controller. But now this is the newest controller. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this guys and give you guys an in-depth review and let you know the differences and features of the brand new Microsoft Xbox One controller. So stay tuned. going on YouTube the assist man I'm coming back at you guys with another one of my stupendous unbelievable product reviews and unboxings inside of this video I'm gonna be reviewing the brand new Microsoft Xbox one wireless controller now I made a video up on my channel it was probably about a year and a half ago where I reviewed this controller which at that time was the new Xbox one controller because it was the Xbox one s controller um, it was white, it had a little bit of different texturing on the back of it, it was a little smaller, the buttons were a little bit different, and that video has, I think, a couple hundred thousand views. But it just so seems that I had to go buy another Xbox One controller. These controllers, these Xbox controllers, man, they really suck, but I'm saving that rant for another video that I'm gonna do after this one. So stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed so you can watch that video as well. But I had to buy a new controller. So I went out to Best Buy today to go ahead and look at a brand new Xbox One controller. Believe it or not, this Xbox One controller here, I just purchased this controller at Best Buy, brand new, back in the beginning of March. So I've only had this controller now for about four months and it already has went out on me. The LB button on the top doesn't work 75% of the time when I push it in. The up on the D-pad doesn't work like 50% of the time when I push it in. The X button gets stuck like half the time. So I'm in need of a new controller. So when I went to Best Buy, I usually just buy this exact same controller, but I was looking and I seen they had this controller and it looked a little different. Cause if you look at the box, the A, the X, Y, B, A buttons are different. The bottom part where the thumbsticks are at are green the actual d-pad and the and the buttons itself are white and it looks like it's like a darker gray color so i was like okay what's different about this controller because not only does it look different on the box but the price was different the price on those standard xbox one controllers through xbox microsoft store best buy walmart wherever you get them at regular full retail, they're $59.99. Unless you get them on sale, sometimes they go cheaper, but they're 60 bucks. This controller was $64.99. So I said to myself, okay, what's better about this controller that they charge you $5 extra for over this controller? So I decided to buy it anyway, because I'm like, well, if it's new, maybe they improved on it somewhat. This controller has a different model number on it than the previous ones. This one is called a WL3-00060. While this one, I don't know the exact model number on, but it's definitely not a WL3-0060. It's like a TL something. I'll leave it on the screen right here because I still have the original box from this one. But it has a different actual model number on it. So, without further ado, man, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. I'm going to give you guys my impressions on it, and I'm going to give an in-depth review to let you know, are the buttons any clickier? Are the thumbsticks bigger or smaller? Is the texture different? The colors, the whole nine yard, and letting you know the differences between the brand new Microsoft Xbox One controller and the standard controller that's been out now for about a year and a half. So, let's get the knife out. Cut the box, simple. Open the box up. I'm sure you guys have all opened up these boxes before. You pretty much just open them. And the controller is a dark gray color. It's kind of weird because on the box it looks like it's kind of like a, a white, maybe light gray color. But when you open it up, it is a dark gray color. It's a two-tone color as well. This, you know, controller, let me put the backpack on it, is pretty much a one-color controller. You know, you got batteries there. I mean, the top part of it is black, the buttons are black. But the back of it, the front of it is white, you know, the bottom of it is white. While this new controller is like a darker kind of gray on the front on the sides 
but the top of it now instead of being black is dark gray the bottom of it is dark gray and the middle encasement uh, part of it is dark gray. Now, right off the bat, I can tell you guys that in my opinion, this controller looks a lot more cooler than this one. I mean, they definitely did like some, you know, cosmetic design improvements on this controller. Um, one thing I can tell you right away is that on the regular Xbox One controllers, the Xbox button, the home button that you press in is just a standard black color. On side of the new controller, if you guys could see it, it is actually like a titanium, like chromish color. So it's like a titanium anodized silver color on the actual Xbox One button itself. So that's one change. Another change I could glaringly see is that not only all the, the D-pad on the old controller and the home and start buttons are white, but on the new controller, the D-pad and the home and start buttons are gray. So they match the controller. Another blaring thing you could see right off the bat with this controller is like on the old one, the uh, left and right analog thumbsticks, they are black on the top and black on the bottom where they spin. With the new one, they are dark gray on the top and the Microsoft colored like lime green on the bottom. So it kind of gives it like a two-tone look. I guess they call this, this controller, according to Microsoft, the new gray slash green controller. Another thing that I actually like right off the bat is on the old controllers, you always had your buttons were, you know, they were clear, but the bottom part of them was black, and the X, Y, B, and A were in different colors. They were yellow, red, blue, and green. On the new controller, the buttons themselves are like a clear see-through, and the X, Y, B, A letters are like a white gray, and they just blend in great with the controller, and in the middle of the controller, they have the color codes for the actual X, Y, B, A. So the X, Y, B, A, opposed to the old controller, the old controller is, you know, it's black with like the, the, the actual letters in different colors. While this one, all the letters are like a whitish dark gray. So it kind of looks transparent. And then in the very, very middle there, they give you guys the color code as if you didn't know which buttons were which already. You've been using the controller for long enough. Now, as far as the way the controller feels next to the next one, um, the back of it has the exact same texture to me uh, as the other one. The texture surface on the back of the new one here on this part and here on this part feels exactly the same as this one here so really no differences there the front of the controller feels a little bit more like a matte finish to me a little bit more grittier this one feels a little bit more slippier slippier is that even a word this one feels a little bit more slipperier like a little bit more it's got a lot more glide to it while this one feels like you got a little bit more grip to it. So I don't know if that's an actual design thing they did, but I can definitely feel the difference in that. As far as the, the buttons go, feel exactly the same on the left trigger and the right trigger to me. Left bumper and right bumper feel exactly the same. D-pad feels exactly the same. Tension-wise, and the thumbsticks feels exactly the same. Let's go ahead and weigh these controllers like I did in the last video. Maybe one weighs less, maybe it weighs more. So I have my trusty scale with me that I use to weigh, you know, various things, mail, the whole nine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Zero it on. I'm going to weigh it. All right, it's zeroed out. This is the old Xbox controller with no batteries in it. Even though this controller is like, new, it's an old one now. I'm going to go ahead and weigh that. And we weigh in at 8.2 ounces on this controller or 233 grams. So 8.2 ounces or 233 grams on this controller. Now let's go ahead and weigh this controller. The brand new one. Once again, no batteries inside of this one. 8.2 ounces. And let's go see how many grams it weighs. 235 grams so it weighs exactly the same so basically in a nutshell the brand new xbox one s gray green controller um 
it is exactly the same controller as the white controller that they have out. When they first came out with this controller, it was classified as the Xbox One S controller. It was white. It was different than the black one because it had the new textured grip on it. It was smaller. I did a full review of that controller. I'll link it in the description for you guys. Um, but it had, a, it had a decent amount of similarities to it. Now, between this controller, the Xbox One S controller, and the newer Xbox One S green gray controller... There are no differences. The buttons are the same. The weight is the same. The size is the same. Everything on these controllers are exactly the same. The only differences, though, are the cosmetics. They only look different. So with the new Xbox One gray-green controller, you're going to get a grayish, like I'd say it's like a mid to dark gray, and then the back of it is a really dark gray. The top is a really dark gray as opposed to like an all white or an all black controller if you went with the black version of this because they did come out with the black version of this controller about a year ago. But really all you're getting on this one is just the gray color scheme. You are getting the green um, like surrounding and bottom part for the analog uh, left and right thumbsticks. You are getting a gray matching D-pad and start and home buttons opposed to like the regular ones. And the, you're getting a translucent, you know, X, Y, B, A uh, buttons that are translucent and then have the actual color code thing in the middle. And you're getting like an anodized titanium color Xbox One home button in the middle. Other than that, these two controllers are exactly the same. So this controller retails for $59.99. This controller retails for $64.99. Now, if the internals of this controller are beefed up, if they actually change something so they make these controllers actually last longer than like four to six months on this new model, I have no idea. But the way I looked at it, it was, it was $5 more than this one. So I thought, well, maybe if this is a newer you know, controller from them, a newer model, maybe they used better parts on the inside. So as far as it goes on the inside, I have no idea, but we can only hope. But the outside, the only changes between this are all purely cosmetic and there's just different colors and the way things look. They weigh exactly the same, they're exactly the same size, they do the exact same things. So if you were in the market for a new Xbox One controller, and maybe, you know, you like the way this one looks because it's a gray color. It has the Xbox One green thumbstick, you know, backings. It has the translucent X, X, uh, XYBA buttons. Uh, it has the anodized, like, titanium-looking home button. And you like the gray color scheme. If that's worth $5 more to you, because, like I said, this controller's $59.99. This controller's $64.99. If this cosmetics is worth five dollars more to you than this one or if in your head you feel that since microsoft just made this controller i believe it came out early april then if you think that there's better parts inside this controller to make it last longer then hey by all means go ahead and spend five bucks more on this controller opposed to this controller if you like the way this one looks because other than that that's the only difference. It's just the way it looks. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up like. And like I said in the beginning, if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe because I make videos all the time. I live stream on YouTube as well as on Twitch. And pretty much I have a lot of videos up right now that you guys can go back and watch and get lots of information, maybe some entertainment as well. So go ahead and do that. Go ahead and subscribe. I Like I said in the beginning, I will be doing a video about my rant on the Xbox One controllers. As a matter of fact, I'm going to film that right now. And then I'm just going to upload it like a few weeks after this. So anyway, look forward to that one. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, you know what to do. So YouTube, this is the Assist Man. And until next time, I am out.